In this video, I'm going to show you how I installed a 50% white shade cloth on top of this 24 foot wide by 88 foot long tunnel vision hoops high tunnel. Greenhouses, high tunnels, and hoop houses are designed to capture and hold heat. For this reason, shade cloth can feel like a necessity for growers in much of the country during the summer months. This farm here that we're working on focuses on growing flowers, so they wanted to really curtail the crazy temperature spikes, and so they've opted for a 50% shade cloth. This means that it cuts about 50% of the light transmission that passes through the shade cloth. Additionally, they've selected a white shade cloth, as it does a better job of keeping the interior a little bit cooler. There are various ways to install shade cloth, but for the installation we're doing today, we're going to pull it on top of the structure lengthwise from one end to the other, just like we do for the top cover greenhouse plastic installs. In total, the materials needed for this install are the shade cloth, the grommet clamps, one quarter inch diameter rope, and the easy snap hooks with bolts and lock nuts. The only tools required for the install are a pair of ladders, a drill driver with a one quarter inch inch drill bit, a crescent wrench, and an impact driver or socket wrench with a 7 16th inch drive socket. We're going to start by setting up a ladder on each end of the structure, and at one end we're going to place our shade cloth on the ground. If it's muddy, I'd recommend putting cardboard down to prevent it from getting dirty. Next, I'm going to lay a rope next to the structure, the full length of the structure, all the way down to the other end. Then I'm going to find the end of the shade cloth that I want to pull from, and I'm going to use the rope I just laid out. I'm going to make a nub on the end of the shade cloth by bundling the shade cloth, then I'm going to make some strong knots to make sure I can pull the shade cloth without those knots unraveling. At this point, I'm going to pause and get ready for the attachment phase. As I mentioned, this piece of shade cloth is slightly narrower than the distance from the hip rail on one side over top of the structure to the hip rail on the other side. So we're going to install easy snap hooks in the baseboard so we can use a zigzagging rope to hold this cloth in place. You might be wondering why I don't use the roll-up sides, anti-billow, easy snap hooks, and the reason is that I don't think the ones we've already installed for the anti-billow rope system on the roll-up sides would easily be able to accommodate two runs of one quarter inch rope. There's no harm in it, so I'm just gonna add more easy snap hooks to the baseboard. So I'm gonna install these additional easy snap hooks just like I did for the roll-up sides anti-billow rope system. I'm going to space these easy snap hooks on the baseboard similarly right around eight feet apart from each other. And using a quarter inch drill bit, I'm going to drill through the metal baseboard and bolt the easy snap hooks using a lock nut, a wrench, and a 7 16 inch socket. Once the easy snap hooks are in place, with one person on the end with the shake cloth and the other person pulling on the rope, we're going to get up our ladders and start the pulling process. We're going to pull the shade cloth onto the structure with the person on the end with the shade cloth, relieving some of the pressure and lifting the shade cloth up as the person on the opposite end pulls. The person on the end closest to the shade cloth that is lifting up on it is doing so so that it does not snag on the spring wire channel that goes over top of the structure, and they're also doing it so they can open up the fold slightly to make sure there's equal amounts of shade cloth on the left and the right of the peak purlin. Once the shade cloth is positioned on top of the structure where we like it, we're going to use grommet clamps on the shade cloth. These are a great piece of hardware to make grommets affordable. You can, of course, get shade cloth with finished edges and brass grommets, or you could, of course, buy shade cloth that's wide enough to overlap your hip rail on the left and the right of your structure, and then use spring wire to hold it in place. But these little things can save you a few bucks, and they work pretty well. I'll have links to where you can find these grommet clamps, or any of the components used in this video, in the description below. You can open these grommet clamps up, and they have teeth, and these teeth will bite into the shade cloth, holding them in place. So you can close the grommet clamp over top of the shade cloth near its edge, wherever you want to make a grommet, and you can also fold the shade cloth before you sandwich this in the grommet clamp, uh, but that's not required, it's up to your discretion. After we have the grommet clamps set up along each side, we're going to run rope through the grommet clamps and the easy snap hooks we've installed on the baseboard until we get to the last one, where we'll end the rope and tie a knot. The shade cloth on this structure doesn't really overlap both of the end walls, and that's okay, because the amount of securement we have on each side of the structure is sufficient for holding this in place. And if you need shade cloth, I'll have some of my favorite options listed in the video description, or you can check them out at tunnelvisionhoops.com. And if you like watching videos on season extension that can save you time and money, consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.